were busy watching TV, keeping up with what's going on everywhere else, and you're going to clubs, and you're going to movies, and you're going shopping. Things are occurring around you that you don't pay attention to. Two new clinics have opened up for business in Madisonville, Kentucky. One of them is at 919 North Main Street. Now let's look at this picture. It's in front of your face. You've got someone dressed up as a dog. You've got a Santa balloon. You've got two tents. And you got people mostly dressed in red and black. Fast Pace Urgent Care Clinic. Well, here's my opinion, Fast Pace. Now look down in front of where they're standing. There's a handicap parking. Disabled. Now Fast Pace really is a circus and they're letting you see it's a circus. Okay? Fast Pace they mean it probably as you're going to hurry come on in here and get your shot get your meds get your pill let us mess you up now i'm showing you the real deal read between the lines here they got santa to attract your kids they got a dog dressed up to attract your kids it's not a clinic, it is a real circus. Fast pace to hell. Yeah, they got a white medical cross up there with the heartbeat in it because they want to mess up your heart. Forget the white cross, all the other signs. Just overload that. Then they have a little sign in their hands, we belong. Yes, they do. In hell. Now, as I have told you in other videos, if you're medicated or self-medicated and you kill somebody, you go to prison. Doesn't matter if a doctor prescribed it or not. This young lady, 18 year old woman, her life is over. Pretty much. Now, with blood alcohol content, yada yada yada, but I'm sure she was on medications also. And I'm telling you about TV and radio and distraction. Here's my point. She was driving on the highway when a terrible song came on the radio. And she was scanning through the channels. When she looked up and saw a person on the scooter, she hit her brakes. Bam, he said. I don't play the radio. Ever. Now, she's the second person charged with reckless homicide. A 15-year-old got killed. His blood alcohol limit was over the legal driving lim limit. But I'm sure he was medicated also. Meds or alcohol, crack or cocaine, or if you drop your cigarette and run over somebody, it's still... Homicide. They got you. Now, the public health director, Denise Beach, is emphasizing on use in young adults not using e-cigarettes. It could have increased the heart rate, headaches, blah, 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 getting it on her skin. Now, this is a distraction to keep you distracted from the allergy pills you're giving them. Much allergy pills can call you to be suicidal. 
Now, a friend sent me these. Having trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. Do not take more than is prescribed. What can happen is you can be sleepy during the day, not thinking correctly, acting strangely confused or upset, sleepwalking or doing other activities. Acting strangely, confused or upset, not thinking clearly. Do not take if you have depression, mental illness, suicidal thoughts. <coughs> have a history of blah, 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 blah. Read this. And if you have a history of sudden onset of muscle relax, muscle weakness, or have a history of falling asleep unexpected times, like when you're driving a car, have lung or breathing problems, have liver problems, but tell your doctor about this because, in my opinion, they don't care. All right. They'll give it to you Are anyway. Pregnant or the usual there. But my point is, you may be able to sleep, but look at all the things you can't do. Do not drive. Do not drink alcohol. Side effects, abnormal thoughts, and behavior. This means you could go into a church and shoot people. Symptoms include more outgoing or aggressive behavior, confusion, agitation, hallucination, worsening of depression, suicidal thoughts or actions. This means you might be able to sleep at night taking this, but you're liable to kill somebody and go to prison. No, I'm not joking. Is it worth it? Memory loss. You need your memory, people. Anxiety. Well, you take this, you have anxiety, you go get you another pill. Huh? Temporary, temporary inability to move or talk. Sleep paralysis. Well, it could be temporary. Or you could take this pill and never move again. Temporary weakness in your legs. Well, what if you have weakness when you're driving and you can't hit the brake? You are encouraged to report these negative side effects to the government. So, if you're having hallucinations and you want to kill somebody and you're having anxiety, and you see flying elephants, you need to tell the government so they can lock you up and mess you up worse. No. That's not sarcasm, that's a fact. The FDA so, knows. Another note. I went to a library. I've been going there off and on for about a year now. Well, maybe two. And I'm copying and pasting something, and up in the right-hand corner it says Aaron Russell Burke is logged in. Spying on me. Aaron Musselberg is signed in. I've never seen that before, and I would have if it had happened. I asked one of the library attendants if she was reading my what I was write, writing. She says, no, all the computers are logged in on her name. When they're on, they're logged in on her name. Okay. Well, when I came in, yeah. Her and another man, some well, her, somebody and another man, greeted me, and then she went into the office to spy, I believe. My now opinion. I went to another library in the same county, and this computer is logged in, but the director's name isn't on it. A different town, same county. 
different towns, same county. Spying, shame on you. That's my opinion. No offense to them. And weather.com wants to track your physical location. Okie dokie. Now, if all you have all kinds of bad things happen to you, and the police come and they just want to be bad to you too, you will not get the body cam footage. Forget about it. It's to protect them from you, not you from them. My opinion. Police cover for police. It doesn't matter what city or state or county. Government covers for government. That's just the way it is. So, in addition, this is Baptist Health form. And I'm sure all of them has done this also. I understand the practice of medicine and diagnosis and treatment involve risks of injury or death. They're letting you know they're going to mess you up. In conclusion to this video, you can take a fast pace, take pills, drink stuff, go to prison, be brainwashed by health department and, and doctors that your meds are okay, but everything else isn't. And if you have trouble falling asleep because you've done something evil or you're doing drugs or you're drinking alcohol, and if you take this pill, you may be able to sleep, but, yeah, you're liable to go out and act strangely, bark like a dog, be confused. You might even give somebody your brand new car. You might write code checks. You might even go sleepwalking. And if you tell your doctor, he's going to give it to you anyway, that you have all these problems, so what? He don't care. Yeah. Do not, do not, do not. Abnormal thoughts now. Some side effects. Abnormal thoughts and behavior. You might go out and kill somebody. Aggressive behavior. Yes, aggressive behavior. Attacking people. Flash mobs, confusion, agitation, hallucinations, suicidal thoughts, or actions. Or actions means to kill the other people. And all this starts with going to a doctor. Get with the program, people. Unplug and undrug. That's my spiritual advice. No offense to any of the people that I've mentioned here. It's just truth.